The other day, I posted a video. Uh, it was called HHO Test Battery Charger versus Battery. And if you haven't seen that one, it would be really good to watch that one too because you'll get an idea of what I'm trying to, uh, a better idea of what I'm trying to say in this video. I, uh, I was fairly confused because I was getting a much better performance from a battery charger as opposed to a battery even though the voltages were exactly the same. Well, very close to being the same. In fact, the, when I ran my uh, efficiency test uh, with my HHO generator, I was able to, I was drawing twice the, the amperage from the battery charger at 12.4 volts as I was from just two batteries in parallel from this truck at 12.2 volts. And I was pretty, pretty confused. I asked Zero to comment on it, and he says, well, look, I don't think this is, uh, this is really throwing your meters off because you've got, a, you've got an RMS value here. And uh, so I, I started thinking about this. Well, gee, do we have to make our, our cars supply a, a spiked voltage? so that we can get this great efficiency. I mean, the efficiency was way better uh, coming from the charger. I got talked to a friend of mine. His name's Richard. He's a car mechanic. And uh, he goes, well, Bob, you've got an alternator. And this alternator has diodes. And it's an alternating current that it's putting out. And it's pulsing, uh, uh, and, uh, it's pulsing to your battery. And in fact, your batteries are, are there in a sense as a capacitor and uh, they help to smooth the, the whole thing out. Well, okay, so I come here to my truck now and this is the test. This right here is the line to my HHO generator in this truck. Now in a minute I'm going to start my truck up and I'm going to have it on 40 amps AC. So we're going to take an AC reading of this. Be right back. video is that we may not really want to supply our HHO labs with a, um, a perfectly filtered DC current. I'm thinking that a battery connected to a battery charger is going to supply a more realistic simulation of what goes on in a vehicle. Well, thank you for watching. It's Bob Campbell. I'll talk to you later.